Hello everyone, I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Joyce Charlie. Today we are going to talk about how God can turn what he was about to harm you for your benefit. If you are really a person who cares about God, you are faithful to God, and God is loving you, he can turn what it was meant to harm you for your benefit. Pray the living God. In this message today, I'm going to talk to you about Abraham. Abraham had a wife, is called Sarah, and Sarah was a very beautiful woman. And there was a famine in the land, so they traveled to Egypt for to find, so they they do not stop there. And when they came to Egypt, Abraham told his wife, you know what, you are very beautiful. And these people here, there is no fear of God here. So if, let's let's say to the, to these people here that you are my sister. Don't say that you are my brother, but my sister. Don't say I'm your husband, but say you are my sister. And um, so that I can live. And uh, this was the secret that they were secretly married there because he, he was afraid that these people could kill him if they knew that this man is a husband. And yes, the people, when they saw Sarah, they were uh, so amazed for how beautiful she was. And even they were talking to, even they talked even to the king of the, to the Pharaoh. And the Pharaoh ordered that they could take this her to her because they knew that she was the sister of Abraham. Pharaoh gave Abraham a lot of cat some cattles and sheep and and as a gift and because he knew he was the brother. The truth is, they lie. They, they but they did not actually lie because it is true that these people they were married. Sarah was half sister of Abraham. In the long, long time ago, the people, the, these these people, they were people were married in very close family, and he was half sister. It means the, the daughter of her father, but not her mother. The daughter of her father, not the mother. So that it was true that this one, this Sarah, was her wife was her sister but it, she was her really wife understand that so it was not maybe very lie but it was a little bit you know so the pharaoh took sarah and god because god was pleased by abraham he protected sarah he protected abraham by making this pharaoh very sick the pharaoh became very sick and after that he found out that he was taking a wife of someone and he went to abraham and he called abraham and he told abraham why did you do this to me why didn't you tell that this is your wife so he decided to kick them out of their country or that country but he gave them he he, he, he let abraham keep everything he had and Abraham went to another country and uh, he went to the land of, he went in um, so this is another story Abraham was in the land of Philistines and there they found a man called Abimelech also that Abimelech when they saw Abraham told Sarah again let's tell these people that I am your brother not your wife it was true but when Abimelech saw Sarah, again, he took Sarah to be his wife. And Abraham was keeping quiet. But God again decided in the night time when Abimelech was sleeping, God show up to Abraham, to Abimelech, and tell Abimelech that you are as good as the dead man. Because you have taken you have taken the someone's wife and this man is a prophet 
So, but Abimeleki had not yet started to be together with that woman. He said that you return this woman back to the house, otherwise you and all your family will will die. Oh, you know, understand. So make sure that you do not. And that's why I'm doing is that I tell you, Abimelech said that, but I did not take this woman because I did not know that he was the wife or the, the wife of his wife. He told me it was the only brother, so uh, only sister. So that's the reason I am, I am out of. I don't. I, I did not make any mistake. But God told him the reason. I also tell you that because you do not sin against me. I want you to take this woman back to his, her husband. In the day after, Abimelech went to Abraham and he told Abraham, "Why did you do this to me?" So Abraham told him that because I knew this, there is no fear of God in this area, and the people would kill me if I tell that this is my wife. But it is true, use my wife. But it is true. When I say that it is my sister, it is not so very wrong because he is the sister, he is the daughter of my father, but not of my mother. So that's the real story. And it, of course, immoral, immoral, you can see that now people are not getting married. It is wrong to marry your sister, even your half sister. But long time ago, people who are marrying very close family even it started from Ad, even from Adam and Eva those days people were marrying very close family until we come to the time of Torah when he, when he, in the Bible we can read that when we come to the point God says that it is not allowed any longer to marry person who is very close to you and this time it was actually in the bible we can read in the time when God was talking to Moses and he told Moses people shall not marry you shall not marry your sister even your closest sister even if the, anyone from your family even if you are the daughter of your father or you are not allowed to marry so I just put it to the knowledge that in this story happened it was very long time before God put this stop and in that time the technology to know so much things about uh, today people people say, sp talk about the DNA and the other things those days it was not so known those things so you have to understand this that uh, this happened that two times God protected the wife of Abraham because he protected Abraham from losing her wife his wife we find also like the same story it was after when he, the isaac this sis the son of abraham together with rebecca went to also to that land of the palestine we saw that it was also out of her mind something good to say that after that um, abraham was so Abimelech decided to give Abraham even more kettles, even more, a lot of gift, kettles and sheep and the other things to tell Abraham, just to take these things as a gift and please pray for me so I will be safe. And Abraham prayed for him and then 